Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, I'm Kari Greger. That's Joey. Hey, how you doing? Don't you? I'm so glad you could join me. Today, I'm making a whole food, plant-based, buffalo spice blend. Oh, there's so many ways you can use this stuff. Let's get into it. This is a very sweet and spicy blend. I'm using 100% date sugar here. You could use brown sugar or you could even use plain white sugar. This is simply dried dates that are ground up to a powder. You'll need half a cup of date sugar, two tablespoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of ground mustard, one tablespoon of cumin powder, and one tablespoon of smoked paprika. This is a spice blend, so there's lots of salt. You don't have to add it if you don't want to. Two tablespoons of salt and two teaspoons of black pepper. Now just simply take a whisk or a fork or a spoon or something and blend this up until the spices are evenly distributed. There, that looks really great. One of the good things about this spice blend is that it's all dried ingredients. I mean, even the dates are powdered and dried. So you can just put it into a jar, label it, date it, and put it in your pantry. It's not going to go bad because it's all dried ingredients, at least not that fast. Dinner. I put some really spicy sauce on them. These chicken wings are the only good thing about before. The best thing about this spice mix is that you have total control over the fat, salt, and sugar. If you're wondering where to get date sugar, check the product links below. I recently received my Amazon affiliate status, so you'd really be helping me out by using those links. I receive a small commission from Amazon for any qualifying purchases, but it doesn't affect the price you pay in any way. If you choose to purchase something that I recommend, great. If not, great. You will be supporting this channel by simply using the links below. As usual, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when another recipe is posted. Now, Let's see some of the ways we can use this great spice blend. Delay that order, number one. First thing we're going to do is make some buffalo spiced fries. These are going to be air fried, no oil. So take a few potatoes, cut them up into fry strips, make the potatoes evenly sized fry strips. Then just take the buffalo spice blend and Toss them on the top to season it. That's all there's to it. This is so handy to have in the cupboard. Put it in the air fryer. And we're going to roast them. This amount, I only did two potatoes, so it was about 12 minutes at 360. And look at how gorgeous they are. They're very nice and spicy, and you can have them with ranch dressing. And his name, number two. Second snack or idea to use for this buffalo spice is roasted chickpeas. I put the oven up to 425. I think that was a little bit hot. Probably would have been better to slow roast them because they were a little chewy in the middle. I just moistened the chickpeas with a little bit of coconut aminos or soy sauce and then sprinkled on the spice blend. Just cover them as much as you want. It, it can be pretty thickly covered. I could have added even more spice blend to this to make them tastier. But doesn't that look great? Once again, no oil. I think I put a little bit of spray on this cooking sheet because I put the temperature up so high. Probably lower temperature, longer time roasting, and then you wouldn't need the spray. Because, like I said, they need to be dried out in the middle to make a nice, crunchy, almost like a nut. But it was delicious. As ranking number three in this office, um, I am ordering... I'm number three. You're number four. Yeah, but I'm number three. Ah, uh, no. Okay, third. 
cooking some whole wheat macaroni and spinning up a recipe of the mac and cheese sauce, which we made in a previous video. Information card is above or in the description below. So draining that whole wheat mac and cheese and tossing it with our whole food mac and cheese sauce. I wanted to have a breaded crumb coating on the top. So I took a quarter cup of cornflake crumbs and then added the spice mix to it, about three tablespoons. If you don't want to have the breaded coating, if you just want to have the kind of zing on the top of your macaroni, you can just put the spice mix directly on there. But I wanted to have it a little bit breaded, you know, like a crumb coating or a breadcrumb topping. So I just spread that on the top of the mac and cheese, about 15 minutes in the oven, and voila, we have baked mac and cheese with a buffalo spice crumb top. Oh, yum, yum. Oh, macaroni and cheese, we gotta make this. <laughs> No, we don't. Let's taste some of this fantastic spice blend. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I love it. I could just eat this by the spoonful. It is a snack in itself. That sweet and savory combination with a little bit of heat, it's really fantastic. Now, I can't taste the macaroni and cheese because we've been having our road ripped up in front of our house. They've been jackhammering and everything, so I haven't been able to do any filming with audio until they took a day off. So. We, I made the mac and cheese a few days ago and we ate all of the leftovers. I mean, that was a big casserole for just the two of us. It ended up being a lot more macaroni than I, I intended to make, but there's none left. It's that good. It was really delicious. If you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up below and leave me a comment. Next video is going to be Italian Caprice Salad, vegan. So while you're leaving a comment, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll be notified when that recipe is posted. Thank you for watching.